Aren't you cute? I hope someone takes a mixer to your penis. Mm. We are back with a little more mystery box fun. And this mystery box comes from my assistant, Carrie Frey, who in, sends me the craziest things normally. So for my birthday, she'll send me just random crazy things um, that tickles her fancy. So in this situation, I said, send me whatever you want. Make it kind of weird so uh, you can get, people can get my reactions opening it. And I'm pretty sure she will have taken me at my word. So I'm a little nervous to see what's in here. But at least I don't have to pretend like it is a normal, everyday thing. At least I can take it for what it is. So if there's nothing in here that I can give away, I'll give something of my, one of my books away. So let's see. A drum roll, please. It's fun opening these mystery boxes because I'm excited to see what's in it. I'm excited to see what people have come up with to send me. Like, it really makes me kind of up my game. Like, well, what can I send them? Like, what craziness can I send to them? Okay, so first we have a card. This... I hope you remember what that is. And if you are old enough to remember what that is, I hope I did it right. I didn't. I didn't. I know I didn't. Never mind. Anyway, what is in this card? A good mom lets you lick the mixer. This seems very benign. It seems like a normal, everyday card. A great mom turns it off first. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, it's a Mother's Day card. Is this a mystery box or a Mother's Day? I'm pretty sure this is a mystery box, so maybe this is just a fun little sentiment. In the mystery box, enjoy some you time. Oh, Mother's Day. It's not even Mother's Day yet. Oh, but it might be Mother's Day by the time this goes live. Well, that's confusing. I don't know. Oh, gross. It says smile. Probably designed by a man, and it says smile on it. So they're not allowed to, like, say it in person without getting a scowl now. Because it's kind of a dick thing to do to tell a woman to smile just to make it easier on the man to live with that woman. So they're just doing it on the envelope instead. Aren't you cute? I hope someone takes a mixer to your penis. Mm. Coming on. This box is packed full. It's hard on top. It's got paper wrapping so I can't see what's happening. So I'm going to pull this. I'll pull this out. So, oh, this is just shipping stuff. Wow, she went really hardcore with the shipping stuff. Did she go to like fucking UPS store to get this? Oh my God, I'm using that. We got some ew, paper. Oh my God, she like wrapped everything. She's mother of the year, this one. She like does arts and crafts. She apparently wraps silly things. I sent one to Leah and I just like lightly put some tissue paper on it and fucked it in the box. She actually wrapped it. She used tape and everything. Oh, my hat's going. I'm worried. Okay. There's a box inside and it says Great British Treats. A little taste of Britain. I hope there's not a big black cock in here. And by black, I mean chocolate. Could be a big white cock and that would be white chocolate. I don't know if I would turn away a big chocolate cock actually I might I might have a nibble on that I would turn away the white chocolate I don't much like white chocolate if you're not gonna put cocoa in it what the fuck's the point am I right so let's see if there's a cock inside the box what's that dick in the box song it's my in a box. Ooh, it's actually full of British treats no cocks in sight okay so we've got crunchies so Cadbury is delicious. If you go to Europe, eat the Cadbury. If you're in America and you see Cadbury, it's usually made by Hershey's. Now I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Cadbury is not allowed to import because Hershey kind of like took it over or something and makes it here. It's not as good. European Cadbury, delicious. I think it's European because it's got 55 pence on it. Get that Friday feeling. Crunchy. What if you work on Friday? Cadbury, then you're just bitter. Double decker, not top and crispy bottom. Oh, nugget, nugget, 
Nougat. What a weird word. Crispy bottom, milk chocolate. Double decker. My husband loves flake. He loves flake. Curly Whirly, never even heard of this. So let's actually try this. Stupid ass name. Good job, Brits, your stupid names. What is it? I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. Oh, it's caramel and proper chocolate. Hmm. A tooth might come out as I'm chewing. It's actually quite good. It's never gonna go away though. It's gonna be in my mouth for the rest of my life. Why the fuck do you make joyful occasions work? Do you want to ruin everything in my life that's good? Do you want to ruin everything? Give this twirl a whirl. Some Brit sitting behind his computer going, <laughs> get it? <laughs> Give this twirl a whirl? It's a twirl. It's a twirl. And when you take it for a whirl, it's like trying it. You're like, you're an idiot, stop it. You're fired. Feels like a Twix. I'm not gonna open all these and take a bite. Oh, gross. Picnic. Crunchy, chewy, fruity feast covered in cabaret chocolate. Well, obviously it's covered in chocolate. Shake it up with picnic. So picnic looks like it's got nuts and raisins. I'm gonna try it just so you can see how gross it is. I hate raisins in anything like sugary related. Oh, it looks like a big bar of shit. Put this in a toilet and someone's gonna be pissed off somebody didn't flush. This is the kind of candy bar that would have really served uh, Caddyshack well in the pool scene. Remember that scene? So I'm gonna eat a log of poop. It's actually not bad. I haven't gotten the, oh, there's a raisin right there. Oh, I don't want a raisin. Mm. Well, fuck, it tastes good. All right then. Try a raisin. I mean, I wouldn't buy that, but I don't mind the raisin. So, great, I've gotten older, here's 40. Now you like shit that you never liked before. Wispa, I've heard of Wispa before. I have a feeling the husband likes Wispa. I might just randomly pop one of these things out that he likes. He'd be like, where'd you get that? And he'll start hunting for it. He knows I hide chocolate on him. I have some Cadbury Golden Crisp, my favorite. And when we were moving my office, he was helping me move and he found, like he took some boxes down and the couple bars fell. He's like, what the fuck? So you told me, you told me we didn't have any left. I'm like, yeah, well, fucking I lied. Get a clue. Star bar, a chewy cosmos of peanuts and caramel. Like British people love caramel. Peanuts and caramel. I mean that, well, okay. Well, what's the difference between a star bar and a fucking crunchy? Oh, honeycomb wrapped in. <gasps> Golden honeycomb wrapped in Cadbury milk chocolate. Oh, that might be like a golden crisp. Mmm. I'm not even, I'm only on the first thing. There's just all this delight and I can't get over it. Okay, last two candy bars. We have more caramel uh, and chocolate. So that's pretty straightforward. And then the best, just chocolate. Why you gotta dress it up with all this other shit? chocolate. Don't need to say any more. So, a good start. Except for this, a good start. Not weird or gross. Just, I mean, well that was a little bit weird and gross and tasty all at the same time. This is a mind fuck. This one was a mind fuck with the raisins. I'm not giving that away because, what am I, crazy? Come on. What's next? What do we think it is? Put a guess in the comments. I mean, how could you? How could you guess? All right, let's rip into this bitch. Oh, she's got notes. Okay. Signal horn. Uh, ideal for sports, boating, safety. It's a legit mah, 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 horn. And she writes, for when the kids are super annoying. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's try the signal. Let's see if they come running. They're right outside. I'm gonna blow this. Let's see if the husband comes running. Okay, we're in. Let's see who comes running. Oh my god! I think I just went deaf in one ear. That's really loud. It's a signal horn. 
jokes on me. <laughs> oh man. Literally, I didn't hear as well in this ear for a moment. I'm still wondering if it's gonna come back. That was really loud. I've never heard one of those. I mean, maybe I have, but like from 100 yards away rather than right next to my stupid ear. Idiot alert. Oh my god. That was a benign one and I still turn it into a shit show. So, happy days. This is a uh, squishy. It's uh, a t-shirt, I betcha. We'll see. Wrapped in disco paper. <laughs> Breaking news, nobody cares. The thing is, I don't need to wear that on a shirt because legit, it's on my face. I was gonna say literally. Literally, it's on my face. So I walk around and people are like, ugh. I'm like, yeah, scram. And also, nobody cares. So that's it, oh my God. I mean, what am I, Bigfoot? Look how big it is. I mean, I mean, you can't really see because of the light, but it's like two of me. Possibly a compliment, maybe a backhanded compliment. Hey, fatty, put on the shirt. She wouldn't say that. I mean, I would say that to myself in front of everybody and they'd all feel very awkward because they're like, oh, you're not really supposed to call yourself fat. And I'm like, I'm a big fat ass. And everybody gets nervous about it, except for the one calling herself a fat ass. It's really... It's kind of a fun time. So that's it. Nobody cares. In size, extra enormous. For the Yetis in your life. What is next? A heavy, ooh, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's like fucked up Christmas. Ooh, happy hour. She's not, this stuff's better than she gets me for my birthday. She gets me weird shit for my birthday. And this is all fun, awesome stuff, except for the blowhorn that nearly took my eardrum with it. This is fun stuff. Carrie Frey? What? Okay. Happy hour. Ooh, six bath bombs. Fizzing essential oil infused. Dude, I love bath bombs. Get me this for my birthday when I want stuff that I like. Why? Why do you give it to me in mystery boxes? I'm not giving this away. I'll give you a book. I'm not giving you my fizzy bath bombs. Let's have a look. Oh, it's all packaged nice. Can you hear them squealing? It's bath time. I did my bit. Don't look at me like that. I did my bit. I washed the one kid. He gets the other kid. Now he gets them ready to go to bed. I do mornings. Come on. Mother of the year over here. That was a weird accent. Ooh, you can't. Let me waft it toward you. Do you smell that? It's okay if someone does this. It's not okay if they do this. I've learned that from men. The uh, number, that's no good. Number two, that's okay. Smells really good. And they're packaged so lovely. Hey Carrie, can I have this for my birthday or like Mother's Day? Is this my Mother's Day proper present? She doesn't usually give me presents for Mother's Day, but I'm gonna pretend like she did. Maybe I'll say it's a mystery box all the time. Okay, I'm not gonna open this. These are really cool though. Blackberry Cabernet. Oh, it's like wine. Oh, happy hour bath bombs. I'm an idiot. Jesus. Empty. So they're each a little, so that was the wine one. This is a mojito bath bomb. This is a margarita bath bomb. This is a, I mean, you don't care. They're all drinks. They smell lovely. It's awesome. <sighs> I already feel relaxed. <sighs> the blowhorn. It's all gone in the past. Chocolates, bath bombs, blowhorns. It's a dream come true. What do we got next? It's like books. It feels like two books are like, a, I hope it's not a dog poopy calendar. Because I've already got one for Darla. Um, colored pencils for those who don't have kids because if you do have kids um you have lots of colored pencils although they're usually misshapen lost or cracked or half usable so and calm the fuck down 
coloring book. My brain stopped there for a minute. That blank stare was not me, like, having a moment. It was my brain just shutting off and me staring randomly. That happens. Color test page. For the idiots in your life. Is it really that important to have your palette down? Do you have to have a test page? Did I call her name? I didn't. I, now I have to whisper because who knows if she's listening to me. All right. Well, we have two color test pages just in case you have to make sure you have the right colors for your arbitrary picture. Something to do until Valium kicks in. Me? Sarcastic? Never. Home is where the vodka is. All true. I began as an orgasm. Well, one anyway. I began as an, oh, I get it. I don't know if they meant it like this, but I began as an orgasm. Men. Namaste. Now fuck off. Yeah, good one. It's a picture of a woman. And you would know exactly the colors that you would need to use for this picture because of the test color page. So should you need the skin exactly of what's in your mind, in your mind's eye, you can just refer to the color page. I sure hope you put the name of the color on the square or else aren't you fucked. Okay, suck it up buttercup. No. How about a nice cup of shut the fuck up, eh? So I will give these away because um, I couldn't be bothered, to be honest. I could not be bothered to even open this or color this. I do think it's funny. If you want it, comment in the comments that you want it, and then I will send it to whoever I randomly pick. Probably like a week out, so I'll give you guys a week to watch and then comment. Two weeks? I don't know. We're all trying this out. And then I will send these to you. And if you do one, please, 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 please email me what you did. Um, send me a reminder that you're the one who got this because otherwise it's going to be some random person showing me, look at what I did. I'm like, my kids, every day my kids are saying that to me. I'm not your mom. But if I know it's the thing from me, I'll be more inclined to pretend like I care. So if you want this, put it in the comments. I'm not going to get confused as to what I'm keeping and not keeping. Chocolate bath, not chocolate bath. So... Tough luck, Chuck. If your name really is Chuck, that really hurt you, and I'm sorry. Okay, this is a squishy little thing. Did she put the nicer, happier things on top and the weird things? I still am waiting for this really weird shit. Like, legit, she keeps, she, I wish I could, I just, uh. Anyway, move on. Oh, socks. Super fucking awesome in a very crazy loud pattern. So super fucking awesome. It has to tell you, otherwise you might get confused about how super fucking awesome this crazy 70s pipe smoking fucking Scooby-Doo sock is. So if it didn't tell you, you would be really confused as to why you're wearing this Scooby-Doo mystery plant sock on acid. Thank God it told you or else you know. So if you want super fucking awesome Scooby-Doo socks, comment in the comments. Um, I do actually think they're kind of cute and because I've been hypnotized by all the new stuff going on with the fashion, like anything's better than 80s and 80s are back. So I'm like, I'll take 70s. 70s was crazy. It was like fucked up. I'll take fucked up over whatever that is. So if you want that, comment. It's like a claw. I never win on uh you can't even see it. I'm giving you a blank zombie stare as I pull out. Okay, this is flat. Feels like paper. Feels like paper. What have we got here? Friends. Oh mine. Shimmering gold anti-aging facial mask. And let me tell you what's funny. It's starting to get a complex. I just got an awesome box from a reader. It was full of so much 
fun, cool stuff. Most of it was unicorn. There's candy, gold, like glittery, chocolatey eggs. Probably turn your poop glittery, you know. But all this fun stuff. Then there's all these facial anti-aging stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fun. And here we are again. Apparently everybody knows I turned 40. Fuck you all. It's a facial mask. I don't have the face mask in place on a clean face, so I can't do that at the moment. I got a bunch of clown. I got, I got Bobo's wardrobe on my face. Smooth to adjust over mouth, lips and eyes. Relax as if you could relax like a fucking mummy. And then remove mask and rub any excess serum away. Um, so I'll keep this. I'll try it. I have lots of masks to get through. I'll be glowing by the time we're done. Okay, is this the last one? No. Is it? No, it looks like a card still in there. These are all very normal things that she sent me. I was I was worried, and now I'm like pleasantly surprised. Hmm. It is a box of wine tumbler, stainless steel double wall wine tumbler, stainless steel, stainless steel wine glass. Is it for when I drink too much wine and I fall down the stairs? And my whole body will be broken, but at least my wine glass will have survived. That's probably what it is. Thinking ahead. Good job. So, I can fall down the stairs. This won't break. My head will break. My arms will break. My boobs will break off or something. Or my knees will like be two different directions. But my wine glass will still probably even have the wine in it. So when the person's coming to like into the bed or whatever, they can just finish up. So that's a pretty good one. A wise woman once said, fuck this shit. And she lived happily ever after. She didn't live happily ever after she had kids because she, they would just follow her and say, what does that mean, mommy? And that is why you also drink the wine. So you say it, you drink it, you forget it. Obviously, I'm not giving this away. I have to use this. Time and again, I have to try it out. I have to try it. Oh. What, I have to clean it too? It's a straw. Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> now this is classy. Like a, like a metal wine glass and a metal straw to go with it. What's up, bitches? Mm. But you're an adult. You're not a kid anymore. So that's why you have a cleaning rod. When we sober up, we worry about cleanliness until we get drunk again. And then it's back to the shenanigans. I'm probably going to lose this bit. And I'm just going to hope the dishwasher makes this okay to use. And I'm probably gonna keep using it. I just throw it in the dishwasher and it comes out and I'm just gonna, happy days. And when I die of some sort of poisoning, you guys will have to tell them that she probably just kept drinking out of that straw because she didn't ever, she's not an adult. She's an idiot, still, to this day. And there's no way in hell she cleaned that damn thing with that little fucking thing. I don't even know what it's called. That was a lot of work, crazy. Okay, one more thing. Oh, and then it's over. That's sad. It's so much fun to... Oh, there's two more things. Okay, I'll start... I'll keep that wine for next time. So, not that wine. Um, opening it up. Oh! Gift card. Fandango. $25. Woo! So, if you want a $25 Fandango gift card... You have to be in a place that you can use the Fandango gift card. I don't know that they have Vandangos. It's not called Vandangos, number one. Vandangos is a place where you get acid for cheap while wearing these socks. That's Vandangos. Fandangos is where the normal people go to watch movies before they come to your house. Where I watch movies because of my kids. Kind of, actually, sometimes I just finish a book. I take a day off and I go watch a movie. That's kind of more realistic, but don't tell the family. If you can use this, comment in the comment section and I'll randomly pick a winner. Woo! Excitement. One more thing before we go. Tra la la. The last thing 
Isn't this the saddest part? It is. Totally running out of words. <sighs> Amazon gift card. So, and again, I don't know. Oh, it's Amazon.com. US only, um, because .com is obviously different than dot so whatever it is for UK and AU and all that stuff. So this has to be uh, US only because that's the di where the gift card will work. So if you're in the US and you can use an Amazon gift card for $25, um, comment and I will pick someone at random um, in a week or two and I will let you know if you win. So thanks for showing up and watching again. I can get this out of my face. I have so much fun opening these mystery boxes and seeing what's inside and reacting to them. If you want to get in on the fun and you want to send me something or you want to have me try a piece of candy or you have ideas for Carrie to send me, um, go ahead and you can visit my website at kfbreen.com um, and there's contact forms there and I, I will send that on to Carrie, my assistant, so I don't know what it is, so it will be a complete surprise. You can probably also get in contact with me somehow through YouTube. I should probably figure that out. Um, but get in contact with me and I would love to have you help out with all this. I would love to get your surprises too. In the meantime, next I will be opening a box, I believe from Shannon Mayer, an author buddy. Um, after that, I think it will be Denise Grover Swank, another author, author buddy. Um, and they will be opening some boxes for me. So. Thank you for joining me, and I'll we'll be here next time for more shenanigans. Bye. Nobody cares about those yetis. Um, wow, that was hard for me to try to learn to read there. Oh, should I give this away? I'm gonna start all of that again because that was a shit show. Don't stab myself. Okay, where did I even start the first time? I'll give you a book. I just showed all my all my chins on that one. Oh my god!